the very first step, we're gonna add a new canvas. So tap the plus icon in the top right corner. And then the little black box, tap that as well. And you wanna make sure the width and the height are at 3000. So go ahead and type that in. Perfect, tap create, and you should have a perfectly square canvas. The next thing, you're gonna tap on your brush icon, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says calligraphy. You're gonna tap that, and we're gonna be using the monoline brush for this part right here. I'm gonna resize my brush to about 10% on this one. Perfect. And now we're going to begin to draw a circle. And you're going to hold it until it snaps into place. And at the top here, you'll see where it says ellipse. And you're going to tap on circle. And it should make a perfectly circle. I'm going to resize the circle here by tapping on the arrow at the top left. Adjusting this. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is drag the black into the circle, fill it in. The next step, tap on your layers, and we're gonna duplicate this by sliding to the left, tap duplicate, and tap on the top layer here. And we're gonna tap invert. And your circle should look like this. There should be a black outline. All right, go ahead and tap on the arrow at the top left again. And we're gonna downsize this a little bit here. That way we have a nice, bold outline. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the wand tool. And we're gonna select Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna drag it over to about, let's do, what, 15%, 10 to 15. Perfect. Go ahead and tap back on your layers and hit the plus to add a new layer. And then from here, we're gonna choose a different brush. We're gonna tap on the brushes and we're gonna select the airbrushing options. And we're gonna select the soft brush. I'm gonna resize this brush to about 39 to 40%. And gently as you can, just begin to brush Kind of follow along the out the outside of the lines here. My pen is literally just resting on the screen. All right, perfect. Tap back on your layers. Now we're going to merge all these together by pinching. We're going to hold the bottom layer and the Top layer, we're just gonna squeeze them together. All right, we're gonna duplicate this layer now. So we'll just slide to the left, duplicate that. We're gonna tap on the top one here. And we're gonna tap invert. And your bubble should look like this. Go ahead and tap back on the bottom layer. Tap it again. And we're gonna select copy. Tap on your brushes, and you're gonna scroll all the way up. The brushes I have on here are the ones I've been like messing around with, playing around, and just creating new things. So tap on the blue plus sign, and then tap on the other plus sign, the top right. Now the Brush Studio, we're gonna change the spacing. We're gonna bring that all the way down, and then the stabilization, we're gonna bring the amount all the way up. It is a bit blurry, so I apologize for that.
go ahead and click on shape, tap edit, and we're going to import, and tap paste. All right. Click done. Perfect. You want to choose azimuth. I guess that's how you say it. But let's do it. Tap on rendering. And we're going to choose light glaze. I'm going to tap on Apple Pencil now. I'm going to bring the pressure size all the way up and the opacity all the way down. Now just go ahead and tap done. And we're at the main menu again, the main canvas. Tap back on your layers. Tap on the top layer. We'll tap it again. And we're going to tap copy on this one as well. Let's go ahead and go back to our brushes. And we're going to slide this to the left. Tap duplicate. And there should be two brushes of the same. Go ahead and tap on the top brush here. Tap on shape, and then we're going to tap on touch only. Make sure that's highlighted. Tap on edit, import, and paste. And your bubble should look like this. Tap done, tap done again. All right, from here, we're going to slide this to the right. That way, both of them are highlighted. And we're going to tap Combine. Go ahead and tap on the brush. It'll bring the Brush Studio up. We're going to tap on the brush, the top brush here. And where it says Combine Mode, you want where it says Normal, you're going to tap that. And we're going to go down to where it says Difference. Go ahead and tap that. All right, I'm gonna erase both of these layers now. My brush is complete. Just slide to the left and just tap clear. I'm gonna change my background color. So just tap on background and the middle circle here, just drag it down. I'm gonna change my color now to, let's do a gold color. Bring my brush size all the way up on this one. Little bubbles here and there. And you can begin to write with it. If you don't know calligraphy or cursive, I do have some tutorials on my YouTube. So don't feel discouraged. I'm going to write, hey... And this is the bubble brush. Let's go ahead and draw some hearts here. You can even change the colors. It's pretty cool. color and that is it you all I would love to see what y'all come up with feel free to make a tutorial on your own breast that you create.
maybe I can learn some stuff from you too.